I'm actually sitting on a car right now. I'm in a meeting. I was able to pick this camera mount up off of Amazon and so far we like it. So we're gonna see what it's actually gonna do. All of the ones that I've been trying to use, they don't stick to anything, they're not strong enough. And this one, it has pretty good suction. It got a little thingy and it's holding the camera pretty well so i'm gonna drive with it just because i'm gonna see how well it's gonna actually go but let me sit here and actually pay attention to this meeting and eat this food and see how everything works out so We'll see how it goes. I'm literally sitting here going through all of the stuff that I have collected in makeup and have not completely put away yet, but I have been using. So I'm finally just like getting rid of it too, like laying it out. I have palettes in here. This one is not even open. This is from like the Ulta and the Sephora sales and stuff like that when everyone was like, you know, buying all that stuff and whatnot. Every, there you go, closer. Everybody was like buying all that stuff. So I'm literally finally being able to actually clean all of this stuff out. I have a lot of fancy stuff in here too from her friends and family sale and she had 30% off, so. I was able to pick some stuff up. I got this pretty, um, one of the, what is this? One of the icons, one of the icon lips, and this is in the color Riri. This is super pretty, it looks like this. It's like a pretty mauve pink kind of color. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get the thing to focus on it. I'll probably just put it here. But yeah, it's a really pretty like mauve pink color right there. So I picked that up and I actually got this and I got the blushes as well. So she has this cream blush and Riri and I picked that up. It's a pretty like mauve kind of color. I don't know if you could tell too much. Here, I'll do it that way so you can see. But there's that. And then I picked up another cream blush. And this is in, what is this? Drama class. And that's a pretty, pretty purple. Look at that, look how pretty that is. So I haven't used this, but I've used these, these two. And then I also got an Invisimat powder and a bunch of other stuff that I'm still going through. I was on TikTok and I saw this girl, she had this um, milk makeup, it was a lip gloss, but she had it with brown liner. I don't know if you guys seen that, it was so pretty. So of course I had to get the milk makeup that she was using and it's in the color Globe Trot. And it's this pretty iridescent blue, but she had it on her lips with a liner, with a brown liner. And it looks so pretty. Can you guys see it? Let me put, I'm gonna put a little bit more just so. You can like really see the blue right there. Look at how pretty that is. So I wanted to try that out and see if it looks cute on me too like it did on her but that's in the color globe trot and so oh that's so pretty and then ulta was having a 50 percent off sales and sephora was but i think i got this from ulta i got this from ulta this is just a naked reloaded palette and i had paid 26 dollars for this so of course y'all know what these are and then I got um, Anastasia. 
This is a modern Renaissance palette. I've actually used this already, but it's so pretty. So I got that from Anastasia. And I also picked up one of her concealers too because I needed another one. So I picked up one of the Magic Touch concealers and this is in the number 17. And it's just a normal concealer. I'm just gonna spot conceal with it when I don't really wear like a lot of foundation or anything like that which is like normally me all the time because i don't like the way it feels so yeah i picked up some stuff from pat mcgrath as well i got two of their blushes and then i got a bronzer as well the other blush is in my car because i was using it one day so i picked up paradise venus paradise venus blush and only thing they package in it is like child proof sometimes it'd be hard to open so this is paradise venus right here it's like a pretty terracotta it's so pretty so i picked that up and then i also picked up which color was this in? I don't even think I remember. If this was Paradise Venus, then I mean this is this box because the other one in the car somewhere. And this is, yeah, this is a blush. This is an electric bloom. This is a pretty pink. It's like a pretty coral orange. Look at how bright that is. That is so cute though. And I use it. This is so pigmented. Like, I did one little swipe and that's it right there and that's what what was it electric bloom and then this is the paradise venus one I might as well swatch this one too since i'm going through all that use a new finger and that's it right there and i'm gonna put it next to it look at that look they are so cute so finally putting this stuff away this is ridiculous that i just be what i do is i'll be buying stuff i'll use it or whatever or i'll be taking it out of the package or i'll like do like an unboxing on tiktok so then the stuff will just end right back up in the bag Go to box for the other fancy stuff finally throw this stuff away and i had a perfume in there this is tiffany I think this is Tiffany Bloom. I don't know. They don't say it. I don't remember. But this right here smells like baby powder. It smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm going to put that away. Oh, I got some stuff in here from Merit too. I forgot about that. So Merit, Merit Beauty. I picked up one of their bronze sticks. And this is in the color Leo. It's literally like my skin tone. So that's just crazy. I probably should get a darker one. Which I'm gonna do. Not probably. And also from Merit. Um, I picked up their um, glow serum. I like a lot of serums and oils and things like that on my face. So I picked this up as well. This is their what instant glow, instant glow serum, great skin. I like their products because it's not too like heavy or anything like that. I have oily skin, so I got a um, gloss bomb. This is in Riri. Is it Riri? Yeah, this one was pretty too. It's like a pretty um, it's a pretty pink with a little bit of shimmer in it just a little bit it looks it looks like all the other riri colors that i showed you so that's really pretty. it's like a baby not like a baby pink but like a rosy pink so and then another fenty one what is this oh this is a fenty heat and hot chocolate i don't know what happened to my other one but i got it I had to get it. I might as well stay on the lip stuff. This is a makeup re revolution. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but I picked this up from Ulta. It's a ceramide lip swirl. I got it just because of the packaging. And this is what it looks like on it. That's not the packaging, that's the inside. And 
it's like a black and cream kind of color or whatever black and pink but it don't come off like that it come off like it gets just a little bit a little bit of temp it's so cute I'm finally oh I'm happy look at this mess I got a this is Pat McGrath this is oh another lip gloss a Kat Von D lip cream I like theirs Kat Von D because her stuff stays on really long too this is in dead metal and then I have a Fenty one of their um eyeshadow sticks the shadow stick i picked theirs up this one don't really show up too much on my skin but it's still real pretty it's great for like a little um contour color or whatever not contour but like the crease of your eyebrow so that's real pretty too here it is i was looking for you it's a shade stick a tint stick all her shade sticks tint sticks eyeshadow stick all that stuff see look at this one won't even come off dang okay but it's a tint stick in the color 18 I don't let the people at Ulta and stuff match me because they don't really know how to match me and my color changes so you know a summer Fridays jet lag mask. I love this mask. This mask is so good. I had to get another one of these. And then, um, what is this? This is all the Ose Malibu stuff. Look at this. Ridiculous, girl. This algae body butter is so good. What is it? Undaria? Yeah, Undaria algae body butter. This stuff smells so freaking good. It is ridiculous. I used it and then put the dang thing on it. <laughs> but, oh, mm, it smells so good. I just wanted to smell it. I don't have no room for this stuff. I'm gonna have to go through stuff and get rid of it. And then it came with a little body scrub, which just needs to be in the bathtub. And then their body oil. Their body oil is so good like so good their products are expensive but their products are so good they really are they're worth the money to me i don't mind paying for stuff that's worth the money this is refi this is one of their um little highlighters and an eyebrow tint or whatever my summer fridays lip balm i was looking for you this elf um elf lip balm i don't really like them too much they're okay they're good for like a little purse thrower but i think i'll keep using the laneige one because i really like the laneige one as you can see i'm like a real product junkie this is some pheromones is it pheromones i think it's pheromones it's a pheromone rollerball. You put it on with your perfume and it's supposed to attract the menses and stuff. I think that's why I be ducking and dodging people because I think I'll be wearing this. So I gotta remember not to put this on because I'm not trying to catch nobody. I need them to stay where they at. And a whole eyeball, girl, I was looking for you. Let me put you back in the bag. And I have finally cleaned out. Why I got tea bags in here? Oh, forgot about them. I wonder if they still good. They probably not. <laughs> this is my halfway storage. Some containers and like my skincare, all the different things that I be using on my skin, and like some of the makeup and stuff that I be using. Like I have another thing full, but I just need to go through my drawers and actually put dividers in. And make it look cute and no those are like some of my dirty makeup brushes that i'm probably gonna clean tomorrow and my edge brushes i'm not cleaning my edge brushes because they seasoned and they need to stay that way 
I always have the most random days, I swear. It's so ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> and it's so funny because it just be hitting you not out of nowhere, obviously because it's random, but I just be like, my God. So now I have to go and have something replaced on my car. But it's okay though, it's okay, it's fine. I'm not even gonna trip over it. Then we are gonna go to Zara because I need to return something. And I gotta go to my PO box. Um, yeah, I'll probably film a haul because I have some stuff that I actually wanna put out before I put away, I guess. Cause if I put it away, then that's it. I'ma I'm wear it and I'm not gonna show y'all what I got, so. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll film the haul first and then go do all the other stuff because I'm stressed out. Y'all like my makeup? I did it kind of subtle today. Well, I put some on today, so you know, I don't usually be wearing makeup like that because I be at work, but I put some on today. We shall see. Maybe I'll just do the haul like this instead of actually putting everything together how y'all feel about that i want to show you guys what i got for fall they're so cute it's a couple pairs no i don't have room for them in my closet either but i don't care <laughs> yeah it's okay though one of these days i'm going to stop buying shoes but then again y'all know i'm lying so it sound good though it does it sound real good um <laughs> This was so unnecessary, but necessary at the same time because I'm a sneaker girl. I am a sweatsuit, sneaker, Nikes, Jordan number one, whether it's a low or a high, it does not matter. Um, Yeah, I'm just that girl. That's just what I like, okay? So, I mean, I got a pair of girl shoes in here too, I guess. You can call them that or whatever. I mean, there's some boots or whatever. But yeah, um, I just want to show you guys what I have so I can put it away or find some place to put it as I sit on my floor. I finished unboxing. But anyways, here, let's see what I got. So first off, what are these? These are women's. I got these Jordan 1s. These are the pralines. And these are fire. I had to get them. I didn't think they were going to still. I had to get them. I didn't think they were still going to be available. And I forgot all about them, honestly. But I picked them up. Look at these. Look at how fire they are. They're like a pretty cappuccino latte color. And then it has the ribbon right here, as you can see. It has a cute little ribbon. And you could pick up the color. See how cute these are and how dainty these are gonna be? These are gonna be so cute. I swear I'm gonna lace them and wear them. But yes, I got these. I actually got these off of the Nike app. So that was a shocker, honestly, because everything is always sold out and people act like they don't know what they be doing and stuff and just buying everything and I don't have a chance to get it, but I actually had a chance to get it. So yeah, we happy about these. <laughs> so that was the first pair. Second pair. I Well, I bought two of the same pair. I bought two of the same shoe, um, different colors, because this was a must for me. Um, I had to. If you are a California native, you're not really going to understand these as being a feminine shoe. I don't think so, but it's something that I had to have. And I had been on a search, on the hunt for these shoes for years and wondered why I couldn't find them. And I was like, dang, these are so retro so oh but i can never find them and then one day i was on the nike app because they be haunting me and you know i just had to you know see what they had new and lo and behold they had these <laughs> 
I know y'all y'all you probably don't understand but this is a Nike Cortez but this is the cloth this isn't the leather the leather mm, yeah no this is the cloth okay and these are to me a staple you this is a must-have shoe it just look it's cute i mean look at it it's just cute okay it's cute it's cute as hell um i got these in a kids five and a half and i was scared because i have some other cortez and they are usually in a size six because they're leather so i was scared to order these and I was scared to order a five and a half because I didn't want it to be too tight or whatever. So it actually fit perfect and I have a little bit of wiggle room, which is good. So these are them and this is what they look like and they are fire. And I'm so happy I found these. These were, I think a hundred dollars. So yeah, I got those. And then the, the Jordan ones were 170, I think. Something like that. They came like 180 something with tax or whatever. And of course, because I got the black ones, it was only necessary and only right that I got the blue ones too. <laughs> yeah, these are so cute. Ooh, these are so cute. Like, I cannot wait to style this shoe because I've been waiting so long for them to come back out and I've been on a hunt to look for these. So the fact that I was actually able to get them, the only thing I don't really care too much about these is you can see the di the color difference because this right here is suede and then this is the, the nylon or whatever. But it's okay, we're gonna make it work because I found them and that's all that really matters. So of course, you know, I had to get, you know, I had to get it sister, cousin, brother, uncle, nephew, whatever you want to call it, I had to get it. So. Yes, I'm actually really, really excited about these for fall, which I know it's not a feminine shoe, but it is a feminine shoe to me because I'm gonna wear it. It's gonna be cute. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so excited. So excited for those. Okay, this right here. Okay, this shoe, you're not really gonna understand this shoe, but then again, you're not Tony, so yeah i got these shoes and i know you're gonna look at me like i'm crazy like i've been smoking but i have a plan for these i have a plan for these they're wallabies oh <laughs> they just i just thought about it they remind me of charlie brown when they be dancing <laughs> but i got some wallabies and they are so cute to me and i'm gonna wear them with um like some little boot cut jeans some boot cut pants I'll, you can wear them with leggings and of course little scrunchy socks or whatever because you know how everybody's wearing the birkenstocks and stuff like that and they're wearing the uggs I want it to be different and I want it to wear wallabies, which they're so cute. These are so cute. I got them off the Clark's website and they are a size of little kids. They are a, a, I think I got a five. I think they're a five and a half. What the, what the back say, girl? What the back say? Yeah, it's a five. It's a US five. So this is a kid's five. And they're gonna be so cute they're gonna be so cute the way i'm gonna style them and i know people are looking at me like i'm crazy but they were on sale too oh they were on sale i got them off the clark's website and they were on sale for like 40 dollars or something like that and it was only a couple pairs left so i had to get them and don't don't look at me like i'm crazy i know i know but you gotta have a vision and I have a vision, okay? I'm like Raven Simone out here. I have a vision for these. It's gonna come true. It's gonna come. And it's gonna be cute. Watch. Don't just watch. Don't judge me. They're gonna be cute. So last are these Mason Margella boots I got 
from the real real and i scored these of course they're like pre-loved or whatever but they're super cute and i really wanted them i don't know how i'm gonna fit my little fat calf in here because they won't i think i'm gonna have to get them stretched but i don't mind so it if you're looking for an old shoe that's come out and you know you can't find it in your size or anymore go on the real real or something like that and you might be able to find it and you know i'd be on ebay too but i found these these are a size 38 and which is a seven obviously seven and a half i don't know what i'm gonna do about my fat calf but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work we're definitely gonna make it work see i told y'all i had a cute pair of shoes out the mix i don't be don't be doubting me okay don't doubt me it's all gonna come together i promise i hope i gotta find room for this stuff in my closet now um i can actually put it away so that's pretty much the end of the video i just wanted to show you guys what i got some of the shoes that i picked up for fall really quick um trending definitely those clarks those wallabies are going to be trending okay just like them little birkenstocks are they're gonna be cute the nike cortez don't doubt me mm -hmm. so now i gotta go to zara because i gotta buy some outfits to go with the stuff that i got <laughs> bye